oportunidad de hacer preguntas y algunas de las preguntas pueden ser dedicadas a cualquiera de estas personas que se especialicen en el tema. I'm going to go ahead and start with Friday uh, with the incident at the exotic bar 2837 Cherokee. Voy a comenzar con el incidente que sucedió el día uh, viernes 5 de mayo cuando hubo un tiroteo en el bar Exotic que está en la calle Cherokee. At around 10.50 p.m., officers responded to that location for a shooting, at which time we located two subjects um, were shot several times. Both bueno, of those subjects... Nuestros oficiales reportaron a este lugar a las 10.50 del día viernes y había dos adultos de sexo masculino a quienes se les habían disparado. Both those subjects were conveyed to the hospital where they uh, died from their injuries. Uh, we do have an ongoing investigation at this time. We're ambos fueron llevados al hospital y ambos murieron por este incidente. Tenemos ahora una investigación que está desarrollando en este momento. We have two other subjects that were shot at that location. Uh, their injuries are um, superficial. There were also one was treated at the scene and one was conveyed to the hospital. Otras personas, dos personas también recibieron disparos en este incidente. Uno está en el hospital y el otro fue tratado por sus heridas en el mismo lugar. We are asking if you have any information regarding those incidents to call Crime Stoppers. As usual, that information. Si ustedes tienen alguna información respecto a esto, por favor llamen a Crime Stoppers con la información. Your information will not be disclosed and that is confidential. Y toda información que ustedes den va a ser considerada confidencial y no se va a diseminar. On Saturday, May 6th, which is that Saturday, uh, the next day at the Cinco de Mayo celebration, we had several officers at that location. El día 6 de mayo, sábado, teníamos varios oficiales nuestros trabajando en el mismo lugar. While we had a quiet day around 7.32 p.m., we heard shots uh, around that location. Officers responded and found uh, two persons struck by gunfire at that location. Aunque el día fue más o menos calmo, a las 7 y 30, los oficiales respondieron a un tiroteo que estaba sucediendo en este lugar y encontraron a dos sospechosos. We do have video of that incident uh, provided to us by a bystander and we have a person of interest that we're currently seeking right now. Y tenemos video de lo que ha sucedido por una persona que estaba en la escena y ahora estamos investigando a una persona de interés en este suceso. We had a large contingency of people in that area and that was the only incident that occurred at that location. Y teníamos una gran cantidad de personas en este lugar y ese fue el único incidente que tuvo lugar entonces. And that incident is not connected uh, to the previous uh, homicide that occurred the day before. Y este incidente no está conectado con el homicidio que ocurrió el día anterior. Uh, later on uh, that evening, on Saturday, May the 6th, we responded to a homicide request of 1500 block of Destrahan. Y entonces, el día 6, también respondimos a otro uh, tiroteo en la calle Destrahan, en el, en el bloque número 1500. Our preliminary, preliminary investigation is that that was an attempted robbery. Uh, y la pre, las investigaciones preliminares Dicen que fue un intento de robo. The victim was returning home with his uh, female companion when he was, uh, two subjects approached him and attempted to rob him. La víctima estaba volviendo a su casa acompañado de una persona de sexo femenino y dos personas se aproximaron a él y trataron de robarle. One of those would-be robbers was armed with a handgun and one was armed with a rifle. Uno tenía un arma de mano y el otro tenía un rifle. The victim retrieved his own weapon, fired several shots at the subject. Uh, during an exchange of fire, the victim was uh, shot several times and was conveyed to the hospital. Y el, la víctima respondió a esas dos personas 
con su propia arma de fuego, hubo un una intercambio de tiros y la persona fue herida y también está en el hospital. One of the suspects was shot also and uh, he died at that location. Y uno de los sospechosos también recibió los disparos y murió en el lugar. We are currently investigating that incident and also asking if anybody has any information to call Crime Stoppers. En este momento también estamos investigando este incidente. Si alguien tiene cualquier información, por favor, llamen a los Crime Stoppers. Around 1.20 a.m. in the 2100 block of Branch, the Homicide Division was contacted to that location where we uh, observed two female subjects, 118 and 117, suffering from gunshot wounds. Y cerca de la 1 y 20 de la mañana en la calle Branch 2100, la división de homicidios fue llamada por nada, por otro uh, incidente en el que hubo un tiroteo y involucrando a cuatro víctimas. Dos de ellas estaban en el, en el lugar uh, de 18 años, mujeres, y fueron pronunciadas muertas en la escena por tiros. Uh, both female subjects succumbed to their injuries. We also had two other female subjects that were shot. Uh, both were taken to the hospital. At this time, they're both uh, at the hospital uh, with stable injuries. Dos entonces de las víctimas sucumbieron a sus heridas y dos otras fueron llevadas al hospital y en este momento están siendo tratadas por sus heridas. On May 7th at 4561 Carter, Officers responded to a location where they found a uh, male subject around 25 years old shot several times in his vehicle. Y el, en mayo 7, uh, recibimos un, un, un llamado y los oficiales nuestros respondieron a varios lugares en intersecciones del, del, del área y encontraron ahí también a varios sospechosos. That, have been, that individual was conveyed to the hospital where he was listed in a serious but unstable condition. Y una de estas personas que fue víctima de, de tiros fue llevado al hospital y ahora está en condiciones serias en este hospital. From uh, 3 p.m. May 6 until 3 a.m. May 7, this department received several calls, totaling 639 calls for service citywide and in District 4 alone. During that time period, there were 173 calls. Uh, during our night shift at one point in time, we had 55 calls pending. De, en este momento, desde la 1 p.m. de mayo 6 hasta las 3 a.m. de mayo 7, recibimos un total de 639 llamadas en, a lo largo de la ciudad. En este periodo, en el distrito número 4, Hubo 173 llamadas pidiendo servicio y 90 de esas llamadas eran del área del centro de, y del área del centro oeste específicamente. Uh, some of those calls involved uh, people blocking streets, uh, doing donuts in the, on Market Street. Also, there was a large congregation of individuals on Leonard K. Sullivan, Olive Street, and also on Washington. Officers had to be dispatched from around the city to clear that, however, we were successful in clearing that up and dispersing the crowd. Muchos de estos llamados se referían a muchas concentraciones de personas en el área del centro, uh, incluyendo a sus vehículos, y varias, los oficiales tuvieron que responder a diferentes lugares en esta área de la calle Market, de la calle Washington, Olive y también la calle Locust. Uh, though quite alarming the number of incidents that we had this weekend, uh, information that we have currently is that none of those incidents are related. Uh, these were all random incidents. And this Estamos muy alarmados por la cantidad de llamados que recibimos esta semana, pero eh, tenemos información de que los accidentes y los tiroteos no estaban relacionados el uno con el otro, sino que fueron al azar. Uh, this weekend, um, <coughs> we, we already had this planned 
Uh, we're moving it up, though. Uh, we will continue this weekend with our um, summer violence and our cruising detail where we have several units from our police department, our mobile reserve, our SWAT units, and also our intelligence unit, traffic, will be, have a large presence downtown this weekend. Esta semana, y esto es algo que ya teníamos planeado anteriormente, vamos a tener muchos oficiales patrullando en esta área y vamos a comenzar nuestra uh, parte eh, de la summer violence y cruising detail para los coches y vamos a tener más apoyo de patrulleros de coches y esto incluye a nuestras reservas móviles, la reserva anticrimen, el grupo de SWAT y también operaciones de los patrulleros, además de los oficiales del distrito. Yeah, we will also partner with the sheriff's department to help us uh, with our traffic control <laughs> and our cruising detail downtown. We will also continue to partner with the Office of Violence Prevention with our ongoing efforts to reduce crime in the city of uh, St. Louis. Y vamos a estar en contacto con todos los patrulleros y todos los oficiales del distrito del centro de la ciudad y vamos a tener nuestra eh, colaboración con los que se encargan de los coches que están haciendo uh, piruetas en el centro de la ciudad y también vamos a trabajar con la oficina de prevención de violencia. What are y'all <coughs> going to do moving forward besides from partnering with the county police department and the mayor's office to ensure that a weekend like this doesn't happen again? I know a lot of people are worried it was the first warm weekend. Um, they're scared for the summer, people that we've talked to. So how can you ensure safety moving forward? ¿Cómo puede usted asegurar que vamos a tener un ambiente seguro? Este fue el primer fin de semana donde hacía calor y la gente tiene uh, miedo de que va a suceder. ¿Qué va usted a hacer además de trabajar con otras personas y el distrito policial? So we will be increasing our uh, police presence downtown. Uh, as I just previously described, our cruising and summer violence detail consists of a large consistency contingency of officers from around the city and from our specialized units. They will be downtown, and not only also downtown, but also in the rest of the city, where we're needed to, um, to reduce violence in the city. As, as you've seen, even though uh, we had a group of individuals out, you know, just uh, creating chaos, we did have um, a baseball game all weekend, and we had no incidents down at those locations. Vamos a incrementar la presencia policial en el centro de la ciudad y aunque todas estas personas y, eh, trabajaron en, en contra de nosotros uh, con la violencia que se realizó, ustedes pueden ver que hay lugares en la ciudad como el partido de béisbol que se desarrolló y no hubo ningún incidente en el caso de este partido. Can you, uh, speak to, we, there's photos of people holding long guns in the downtown area. I know that we've touched on Missouri laws in the past, but kind of speak to what police are able and not able to do in this situation and how the laws prevent what you're able to do. Nosotros hemos visto fotos de personas con uh, armas que eh, tenían durante, en el centro de la ciudad. ¿Qué puede usted hacer para prevenir esta situación en el futuro? Well, the laws are very uh, challenging as far as we're concerned, uh, but we're, we're continuing to work with our city partners, such as uh, Office of Violence Prevention. It's, it's very chaotic for the officers, very apprehensive. But if we can run some of these people if they uh, involve in incidents, if, if anyone is a convicted felon, obviously we'll uh, make an arrest and take their weapons. But for the most part, just uh, you know, people being downtown, we have to create a large presence and hopefully people will, uh, that will deter people from coming downtown or anywhere else in the city are carrying weapons. Lo que vamos a hacer es aumentar nuestra presencia policial y algunas de las personas de acá se encargan de este uh, tipo de cosas, pero uh, no, lo único que podemos hacer es prevenir que este tipo de gente venga al centro de la ciudad con estas, con estas armas. Y ya sabemos todo lo que dicen las leyes y son son bastante eh, difíciles para interpretar. Evidentemente, si hay una persona que ha estado convicto por un 
por cualquier tipo de ofensa y hace eso, entonces sí podemos arrestar sin problemas. Major, can you talk about, this, I want to be clear, you had the special units out this weekend? Not all of them, man, because we had a, um, a detail on Cherokee. We had those units up there. Tenía usted todas las unidades este fin de semana, no todas, porque algunas estaban en el en el uh, lugar de Cherokee. Can Can you explain to the people so they understand? With the special units, when you receive that volume of calls, how is it possible with the shortage of officers that you have to actually pues, respond to all of these? Puede usted explicar, por favor, porque cuando usted recibe tal número de llamadas, cómo puede usted responder? con un grupo de oficiales que no tiene suficientes oficiales. Yes, ma'am. Well, we, we do, we are short, obviously, but we have officers uh, from all over the city that at any point in time can come help us, as they did um, this weekend. So the 4th District obviously was overwhelmed with calls, but we were able to call officers from other districts to come and help. Nosotros pudimos llamar a oficiales de otros distritos. Evidentemente, el distrito número 4 tenía una cantidad de llamadas increíbles, pero nos ayudaron otros oficiales de otros distritos. Well, what does that do to the other districts, though? When you deplete the other districts and take them to another district, what happens in those districts then if there's a problem? ¿Qué pasa entonces si usted saca oficiales de otro distrito? ¿Qué pasa con los oficiales de esos distritos? Well, again, ma'am, you know, these are not frequent incidents, and uh, we do understand that even though sometimes that happens, that's not something that happens all the time. So we're not necessarily depleting those officers from uh, those districts. There are officers that still, le still leave, that still are, are still left in that district. We just call additional support as needed to squash what we needed to squash this weekend. Señora, usted tiene que entender que estos son incidentes aislados y que nosotros podemos llamar a otros oficiales sin decimar la cantidad de oficiales que tienen y todavía tienen oficiales que les queda. Major, you specifically aware of uh, passengers on a riverboat cruise who were stranded because of street racing, donuts, reckless driving, and ultimately gunfire. You mentioned some streets being blocked. This is right on the riverfront, I believe, the Becky Thatcher. Uh, people are telling us they called and there was no response. Like police never came. Do you know if that is or is not true? Did you get called? Did, were you just so overwhelmed that you couldn't send people down there? Sabe usted qué es lo que pasó, especialmente en el área del río. Uh, nos han dicho que hay gente que salía de un crucero y que no pudieron continuar por todas las las. Uh, las situaciones con los coches haciendo los donas y además la gente que había. Entonces, por esa razón, uh, ¿puede usted explicarnos la situación? La gente dice que ellos llamaron a la policía, pero no hubo respuesta policial. Uh, we had several calls pending. So we did get those calls, but even though we were not able to respond at the immediate time, we responded and cleared those uh, people out that area. So, no pudimos responder inmediatamente, pero después quitamos a toda la gente de esa área. So eventually you did? Yes, sir. You don't have any idea the length of I don't know the delay? time frame, but we, we did respond to clear that up. No sé exactamente en cuánto tiempo, pero uh, limpiamos toda esa área después del incidente. And we're going to have stuff in place this weekend to prevent that from happening. Y este fin de semana también vamos a tener nuestra nuestra gente para evitar que todo eso pase otra vez. Last Friday, you also mentioned in a press conference last Friday that y'all were going to have increased patrols last weekend. Was it because of the increase in calls? I know we were downtown Saturday night. We didn't see a lot of police presence. We saw none. Residents we spoke to saw none. Was it because of the amount of volume of calls y'all were getting? Uh, usted dijo que iba a, a incrementar la presencia de las patrullas, pero nosotros estuvimos acá el fin de semana pasado y no vimos realmente una gran cantidad de oficiales. So we were we were downtown, but obviously because we had to move from one call to the next, wherever that individual were or wherever you were, you may not see the police at that location, but we were in other areas of the city and also in downtown. Evidentemente nosotros teníamos que responder a los distintos llamados, entonces íbamos de un lugar a otro lugar, a otro lugar, y por eso a lo mejor no nos veían. Sarah, 
there with you now. Oh, I was wondering, um, you, you mentioned increasing police presence downtown, but most of these shootings were actually on Cherokee and Hyde Park and in other parts of the city. Uh, is there any kind of plan to increase patrolling in those parts of, well, why, I guess why focus so much on downtown? Usted nos ha dicho que ha, ha incrementado la cantidad de patrullas en el centro de la ciudad, pero la mayoría de los tiroteos fueron en Cherokee y en Hyde Park. Entonces, ¿qué planes tiene usted para vigilar estas áreas? So, I mentioned downtown because that was what was what was I. So, our plan is not only to focus specifically on downtown. Though we understand that downtown is important, we understand that all the areas in the city is just as important. So, we have created a process where and a detail where we have uh, presence downtown but we have our specialized units that are going to also mobile, mobilize and be all over in all areas of the city. We have the bikes, we have traffic unit, we have other contingency officers that we could focus downtown. Nosotros entendemos lo que usted dice y uh, tenemos unidades que están en todas partes de la ciudad y también en esas áreas y tenemos unidades móviles y también unidades de tránsito que las podemos movilizar de un lugar para otro. A couple more questions. So, Major, I'll ask in English and then I'll ask in Spanish. Um, what message do you have to residents or people that are looking at coming into St. Louis and they're seeing these things go on like this weekend who may think, I have to call 911, no one's going to pick up, you know, and they may be scared to come into the city. What message do you have to them? And in Spanish, um, ¿Qué mensaje tiene usted para los que los residentes de la ciudad de San Luis o los que andan queriendo venir a la ciudad, que tienen miedo de los tiroteos o que tal vez la policía no responde a su llamada? Uh, we do understand that apprehension and obviously you guys have presented a lot, a lot of cases where uh, we've Nosotros had... comprendemos <coughs> esta situación y la aprehensión que muchas personas tienen. Right, but I personally live in the city. I know, I know Will does too and uh, we're downtown all the time. And as I stated before, we had a, a Cardinals game all weekend and we didn't, didn't have any incidents. So, so Yo personalmente vivo en la ciudad y también mi compañero vive en la ciudad. Nosotros comprendemos la situación. Yo estoy en el centro de la ciudad todo el tiempo. Tuvimos un partido de béisbol de los Cardenales y sin ninguna situación peligrosa. Last question. Yeah, Major, do you have any clarification or any updates oh, on an incident with a uh, homeless man who had uh, drowned or something of that nature in the Mississippi River this weekend? ¿Tiene usted alguna información sobre un hombre sin casa que fue uh, que se ahogó en el río Mississippi este fin de semana? There was a call <coughs> over the weekend for that, and officers responded, and they didn't they didn't find anything that was down there. I believe on Lenore K. Sullivan. So there was nothing found at that incident. Hubo un llamado este fin de semana, los oficiales respondieron, pero no encontraron nada. Thanks, everybody.